were just sitting at their home and they were simply bombarded. Their entire building was brought down. Uh, my cousin, uh, Aya, her two children, her husband, her uh, mother-in-law, and two other uh, relatives uh, died immediately, were killed instantly. And two of her youngest children, uh, a twin, two years old, are now in intensive uh, care. This is uh, truly uh, heartbreaking. And the issue here, uh, Kirsty, is that they have no bunkers, they have no iron dome, they have nowhere to go. They are simply sitting ducks for the Israeli war machine. I'm sorry for your own personal loss. I mean, can I just be clear, though, you cannot condone the killing of civilians in Israel, can you, nor the kidnapping no, we don't families? Con no, we don't condone. And we are very clear, uh, 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 Kirsty. We reject uh, any targeting or harming of civilians from all sides. And you are talking to a Palestinian representative, official, the ambassador that I represent my government, the PLO, the national movement of Palestine. And we have been committed to this for 30 years, not just today or yesterday. For 30 years, since the signing of the Oslo Accords, uh, we have committed to nonviolence. We have committed to negotiations, so you, as you know. Yes, and so this so is you, nothing new. That's no. why this question, this question, uh, we have done everything in our power to find a different path. But we have a situation now, as you heard there from Mark, uh, that Hamas may be, it may be an empty threat, uh, threatening to kill hostages. You, do you condemn that kind of action? Listen, uh, hostages mu must be protected mm -hmm. and must be made safe and kept safe. Uh, uh, absolutely. This is, has, has no uh, discussion whatsoever. We, uh, we, we, we must return the moral uh, high ground uh, and Israel must immediately seize targeting civilians. And by the way, Kirsty, allow me to say this. This is an Israeli military doctrine. They call it the Iron Dome. Whenever there is such a, an incident, they go after the civilians to pressure the fighters. So you've heard one of the Israeli well, we know there's been a lot just, of strikes just two today. minutes ago. He wanted to starve the people in Gaza. He wanted to uh, cut electricity. So the, the, I guess, yeah, These I are video. war crimes, I collective punishment. So uh, there is a possibility that both the UK and the European Commission will cut aid to Palestinians. What's your reaction? To they already that? did. They very, did. very counterproductive, and it doesn't serve anything. Well, they will do exactly what is Israel doing. They